Okay, today is finally the maiden of the Prime Jet 8 Fun Jet. It's high rates. Um, 70 millimeter EDF with thrust vectoring. Turn that on. So, for the um, first, I'm gonna leave the thrust vectoring off. I'm gonna put it on low rates to launch. Check the wind. Got three minutes on my timer. I'm not going to push it too hard because the this ESC is um, only 40 amps and I really need a 50 in, the, in this model. So, here it goes. Got a launch at pretty much full throttle and uh, hopefully I don't torque roll her in. All right, well, she's doing great. Okay, need to keep speed up because the aileron's not very effective at a uh, little down trim. But it flies. See if I can, uh, I'm almost afraid to turn on the thrust vector in. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a feel for it. But it's doing pretty good. Just don't want to blow up my ESC. Okay, so that's full throttle. Okay, thrust vectoring is now on. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Look at that. That was, uh... So it's actually... A lot easier to fly with the thrust vector. I'm gonna put the high rates on. High rates. And try a thrust vector loop. Okay, I'm going to turn the thrust rectoring off and uh, bring her in. That's three minutes. The, uh... So the front canard is very, uh... <laughs> okay, that's a failed landing approach. The front canard is making uh, control very sensitive. I may need to dial that down. I'm about to explode this battery. Come on. Okay. Okay. Got it back in one piece. The, uh, the front canard um, I may need to adjust the trim on that and make it a little less sensitive. Um, 
my my 60 amp ESC should be coming uh, later in the week so once I get that in there I can uh, be a little more aggressive with the throttle but um, it flew pretty well pretty stable See. Battery is still cool, but that that's expected because the battery is has more than enough power. It's uh, 2200. ESC is warm, but it's not that it's not that bad. So did pretty well. Can't wait for that new ESC.